Hey guys, so today I want to talk about hiring your child. I get this question all the time and I want to answer it here so that I can just send the link to clients when they ask me this question. Hi, I'm Kimberly Bagley, CPA, and I help online entrepreneurs scale their businesses with the simple sort method. We sort your business by focusing on four key areas, setup, operations, record keeping, and tax laying to ensure you increase your profits and minimize your taxes. So today I want to talk to you about hiring your kids. I get this question all the time, so I want to talk about the do's and don'ts of hiring your kids if you own a business. So let's set the stage first. So you have a child that is, you know, at least age six or up, I would say, depending on the type of business you have and what type of work you're wanting them to do. But as of right now, when I'm recording this in 2023, the standard deduction is $12,000 or around about um, for a single taxpayer, okay? So that's increased for inflation each year. So I'm just gonna use a flat 12,000 to make this example easy. So basically what that means is that a, a single person, whether it be a six-year-old versus a 60-year-old can earn up to $12,000 if that's the standard deduction for the year and not pay a penny in federal taxes. Remember that. So that means if you want to hire your child and pay them up to $12,000, like I said, I'm just using that as a flat number right now. Um, but if you want to pay them for work done in your business up to $12,000, then you get a tax write off. It's employee wages um, that you get to write off on your business tax return. And that income to them is not going to be taxed at all because it's under that standard deduction number, okay? So as you can see, this is a great um, tax saving strategy under our sort method. That would be T for tax lane that we do employ with a lot of my clients. But there are a lot of rules to follow. You want to make sure they're doing bona fide work and that you're keeping track of their time and that you know, they're treated like all other employees. So there are special rules that you have to follow. I'm not going to get into all that here, but I want to put this on your radar as a tax saving strategy that you can hire your child in your business. And there are certain ways to do it, whether you're a self-employed person, you know, following on schedule C, or if you're an S corporation or a C corporation, it depends on your taxable entity type, how we treat your child as far as an employee and whether or not you have to pay payroll taxes on top of that. So as you can see, there's a lot of different things we have to think about and talk through, but that's what I'm here for. So if you're considering hiring your child for your business so that you can have an awesome tax write-off and that your child can earn tax-free income, then please, please, please book a call. And I'd love to discuss that with you. So you can find a link to book a call with me in the description or comments below and also links to awesome free resources that I offer and our Facebook community that you can join as well, where I give all these tips and tricks um, as part of our simple sort method. Okay. Talk soon. Mm -hmm.